My name is Jordan. I'm here at the Old Hundred Mine in Silverton, Colorado, almost two miles above sea level, and this is the chemistry question. Catalysts are great. Without them, our world would be very different. They allow many important reactions to occur, not just in industry, but in life as well. A catalyst is anything that increases the rate of reaction without itself being consumed by the reaction. How do catalysts enable these reactions to occur? The simple answer is they lower activation energy, which is the energy needed to start a reaction. If we want to look at how they lower activation energy, it gets more complicated. Often, when we see a chemical reaction, what we see is the net reaction. For example, this equation for photosynthesis shows the net reaction, but there are very many intermediate reactions in the process, some of them facilitated by catalysts. With the addition of a catalyst, we see the same net reaction, but different intermediate reactions. In other words, the reaction proceeds in a different series of steps. A typical catalyzed reaction proceeds as follows. Say that in the overall reaction, X and Y react to form Z with C as a catalyst. C reacts with X to form XC, Y then reacts with XC to form XYC, X and Y react, so XYC becomes CZ, which decomposes to C and Z. Since C is not produced or consumed, it is left out of the overall reaction. Each step of the reaction has its own activation energy, but the activation energies are all less than the single one seen without a catalyst, enabling the reaction to continue faster at lower energies. Let's look at an example of this for farther understanding. Hydrogen peroxide decomposes to water and oxygen gas with potassium iodide as a catalyst. First, the potassium iodide dissolves, forming potassium cations and iodide anions. The iodide reacts with hydrogen peroxide, forming hypoiodide and water. Hypoiodide and hydrogen peroxide react to form water, oxygen, and iodide. We can then write the net reaction and cancel out the iodide as it occurs on both sides. Although the net reaction is the same, we see that several different reactions occurred, each with a lower activation energy than the overall reaction. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.